my god, this PPRA is awesome. David Lakella is head chef at the Alohalani Resort in Waikiki. I'm telling you, everybody talking about us. That's what it is. And there's a reason, yeah? We come here every day, we work hard, we cook it here, right here, in the heart. I hear this over and over again from everyone in the food business in Hawaii. A focus on preparing and sharing the very best. Something that goes way beyond taste. Let's just go get it, that's all it is. Every day, David and his team pump out thousands of meals, but quantity has no impact on the soul of what comes out of this kitchen. It's bone marrow -y. Two of the best chefs that work for on this side. <laughs> <laughs> To get such respect from the kitchen staff about their head chefs is not something you hear often. But David comes to Alohalani with an impressive CV, including the famous Nobu restaurant. Uni brown butter, um, right there. Awesome. I worked for uh, University of Hawaii at the John Burns uh, School of Medicine for the Hawaii Center for AIDS. And I was doing science experiments for a good eight years. And then one day I just got sick of it. And I just decided to go to culinary school and start cooking. Do we need any circulators tomorrow other than... That like passion for food bag. stems from his Hawaiian heritage. So funny, right? And injecting that soul I mentioned earlier into every dish is what it's all about. I started cooking at probably like five. I used to be the family's like hibachi boy. So I used to help my grandpa like grill steaks for the family on Sundays, make the fires and all that. So it's kind of like what started my kind of itch for cooking. And what about your grandma? Did she get you into cooking as well? Oh, I'm super fortunate to have a lot of like great culinarians in my family. Like my grandma was a cafeteria lady, a phenomenal cook. Um, my uncle's a restaurateur and we've always kind of had that like DNA in our family about, you know, a love of food and a passion for ha hospitality. So, um, yeah, like, my grandma was a big influence on my cuisine. You can take the man out of Hawaii, but you can't take what made the man out of his food. And I can't wait to see what locally inspired creation he's got planned. What are we making today? Um, today we're going to make the ahi nachos that we feature at our swell pool and bar here at Alohilani. So we're starting with some onions, yeah? Yeah, so these are some locally grown green onions here in Hawaii. So what we're going to do is just a quick slice straight down. So tell me about how this dish came about. What inspired you to put the Mexican twist on a Hawaiian classic? Um, a lot of our guests like finger foods. And uh, one, of the, one of my favorite dishes is uh, ahi at nachos as well as poke. So I decided to combine both of them and make an ahi nacho poke. Now, poke has a significant meaning, doesn't it? Can you yes. describe what that is? Um, so poke in Hawaiian means to slice. And that comes from the fish. And basically, it's a um, fresh fish with some ingredients of all sorts of varying combinations. And you mix it together with a sauce, and you eat it. Mate, look at this tuna. Can I just have a look at that? Yeah. Look at the colour. It is so vibrant. So this is known as number one grade of tuna. This is the highest grade of tuna you can get. Um, very special, very tasty. Yeah, I um, bet. I can't wait. So it's called ahi? Yes, this is ahi tuna. It's a yellowfin tuna. And it's one of the great fishes of Hawaii. I mean, this type of fish, of course, very good for you. the colour. It's amazing. Mate, packed with omega-3, omega-6, really good healthy fats there, protein. Yeah. Absolutely love it, mate. And just seared with a salt and pepper seared, crust. Seared, sometimes you braise it and all that. Yum. And we're gonna actually eat it raw today because it's my favorite way to eat it. Yes. One of the, my favorite classic pairings is avocado and ahi. They're just like a handshake, hand in hand. They creamy. go so well together. Creamy, that fattiness, that upsets the lean of the ahi. And it's also very colorful. What are we doing to it? Um, we're just gonna cube it. Try not to get yourself. Hey, talk to me about the spoon. Oh, so the spoon. This is actually a spoon given to me by my grandma. So it, it's, it's what makes the, taste, the food taste so good. Mate, absolutely. So I'm happy to go it. along with that any day. Now, I'm familiar with corn chips, but I ain't seen one that looks like that. OK, so these are one-ton chips. So basically, what we do is we take one-ton chips. Yeah, like the one-ton wrappers, yeah. yeah? And then what we do is we cut them into triangles and we deep fry them. Can I crack one? Go ahead. Oh, mate, listen to that crisp. That sound. Oh, that sound. That's yeah. crunchier than any corn chip. Yes, yes, yes. So how do we prepare them? Um, basically, we're going to take one-ton chips you buy and then cut them in triangles, give them a quick fry, and then it puffs up and drain the oil, and you got it right there. We're going to top it with a little bit of sriracha aioli. A bit of heat in there. A little bit of heat, a little bit of spice to offset the sweet. And we're adding a little bit more of kabayaki sauce, so it's basically a thickened terry sauce to add even more sweet to the top of that. We're gonna put a little bit of our beautiful avocado for that creaminess, and we like it to complement the ahi. Add some fattiness to this dish, so spread that all over. And then just to give it a little bit of um, touch, a little bit of green onions on the top. Creamy, 
fatty, salty, crunchy, crispy. And a little bit of heat. Oh, man. Can I dig in? Go ahead. Actually, yeah. Luke, buddy, where are you going? Triple M's hot breakfast from Waikiki Beach Eddie, here. mate, you got to try this. Poke nachos. Mm. Magnificent. Happy days. We'll be back after the break.